Crazy with these goodie bags. There's only a hundred and everyone wants them. Today is an exciting day for us. It's the beginning of the Discovery Men's Health Durban Winter Series. We came here this morning, we put all the branding up, we organised the goodie bags, we set out all the tables and got everything in place. We, uh, we're expecting about 500 people, there's been loads of people coming through here already. We're going to party. Kind of party, we're gonna do it till we can't take no more. Gotta do it till we get funky, gotta do it till we get back down, gotta do it till we get funky, gotta do it all night till we get back. We get Joe Cools. Uh, not entirely sure that I'm at the right place. Uh, haven't recognized anyone here yet. Um, it's maybe the free Burma. Uh, really, but I have a distinct feeling that it's not uh, Discovery, New Balance, kind of point towards Surfski party. Uh, should we go upstairs and have a look and see what we find? Bring it up to the floor. Let me try this out there, you guys can smell it. Before the registration party, we caught up with the Cape Town Powerade Performance Program runner-up, Jamie Hamlin. This program awards paddlers points not for winning races, but for participating and approving their own personal percentage times each week and for other activities linked to the series. Hi, I'm Jamie Hamlin. I've been paddling for eight years. I'm up in Durban for uh, the Powerade Performance Program. Being one of the uh, two winners, I, uh, I'm very happy to be up here in this lovely weather. I believe Cape Town's race is cancelled now because there's foul weather down there. So, And I'm up here now for the Powerade Performance Program, which is really a program for paddlers, regardless of where you are, whatever your capabilities are, fitness levels, it's all about coming in and giving it your best shot. Um, you know, I went into this program at the beginning of uh, the Cape Town series, barely been able to do like 30 push-ups, 20 sit-ups sort of thing. And by the time I managed to like peak, I was doing uh, in the region about like, 86 push-ups and about 55 push-ups in a minute. So anyone can do it, really. Get yourself a, a, a training program from Nicky Mocker or ask one of the top guys to try and sort you out with a little bit of a program and go out there and just like give it your best shot. New and experienced paddlers flocked to the New Balance Season Starter Grading Race in order to achieve the best possible grading, which will determine their start batch for the rest of the season. Finally, finally going to do my first safe ski race after all the testing out boats and you know trying out, learning how to safe ski for the last few weeks. I'm very chuffed to say that there are not too many waves today, it looks pretty calm and a lot of people out here, sure, you know, it's going to be quite a thing getting out there, but you know, it's all part of the experience. I'm very excited that I'm in a very stable mental facility from Custom Pike, so yeah, I'm excited for today, so let's see how it goes. Now I'm about to start the race, I'm very nervous, <laughs> but yeah, it should be fun. A little bit of excitement and the nerves, so that's a good thing. After the grading race, we caught up with Claire to find out how she prepared for her first surf ski race. I'm Claire Lindsay. I've just moved um, down from Maritzburg. I was a boss there and I've moved down to work at SA Paddler Magazine. 
Um, I did a lot of uh, river paddling. Well, I've been paddling in the rivers for the last two years. Did my first doozy. And moving to Durban, I thought, well, I might as well give surf ski paddling a bash. Um, I've lived at the coast, but I actually haven't done anything to do with the sea other than, you know, just swimming in it. So I thought it'd be a good idea to give it a try. I went down to the surf ski school um, on a Saturday morning and I wasn't quite sure what to expect. They were very helpful. First of all, Barry showed us how to hold our paddles, how to get into the boat, gave us some good advice about to get our legs out of the boat if we were feeling a little bit unstable on a wave. And, and then we, we headed out there and um, paddled out and in, caught a couple of waves, had a couple of swims and had a couple of embarrassing moments getting into the boat. But yeah, it was, it was good fun and I'm looking forward to yeah, a little bit more time on the water now. Now we're here at the Varsity College Surf Ski School at Addington Beach in Durban. Uh, we've just had a uh, uh, couple of people down for their first lesson, uh, one of them being Claire. She's done really well on her first lesson, she has paddled before. Uh, it's great for her to get down here and learn something about the sea. Some of the, the tips are going to help her in uh, this week's race, uh, the New Balance uh, season opening grading race here at Addington Beach. The biggest thing for me was trying out a boat and trying to decide which boat was stable enough for me. I didn't obviously want to go out there in a boat that I was going to fall out every 10 seconds. Um, so I went down and spoke to Mark Lewin at Custom Kayaks and he helped me out and lent me a mentor to give it a bash and I really liked the mentor, it was a very stable boat. I tried it out in the first race and decided it was a really awesome boat for me and went and got one for Mark and he's been extremely helpful at showing me how to set it up and making sure that it's the right boat for me. It's, yeah, it's just been great. The whole atmosphere is, is unbelievable and I've already told a whole bunch of my friends that they need to start surf ski paddling and I cannot believe it's taken me this long. I'm a bit of an idiot, so <laughs> that's, yeah, it's been great.